you guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm doing another story time video for you guys. Today I'm going to talk about probably one of the craziest things I've ever done. So this happened about 12 years ago when I was 18. For those of you guys that don't know, I was in the adult entertainment industry, so I was making adult films. I don't know what it is, but really, really wealthy people love hanging out with porn stars. They were always just like so attracted to our industry and they always wanted to take us to parties, fly us on their private jets to like hang out. I guess it was just a cool thing for, for them to have us at their parties or hanging out with them. I don't know. I obviously took advantage of that. I wasn't dating anyone at the time and I was like, fuck yeah, I want to party and fly to all these cool places and these awesome mansions and like go hang out and party and do fun shit because it was like basically like a free trip for me and my friends. The people we were hanging out with were really cool. They were very, how do I say this? They were like important people. Even though these important people in the public eye, they were really cool in person and like really fun. I really enjoyed hanging out with them. Came in handy knowing those type of people, you know, if you ever get in trouble or you need help with something, it's always nice to have people like that, that, you know, would be there for you. I had gotten invited to a trip with my friend Carrie. We had been invited to a trip in Mexico. So basically these people own a private island in Mexico. You have to like fly to get there. They have their own landing strip, everything. We were told that we were going to meet at the Van Nuys airport. It's like a private airport in the valley that we were basically going to fly out of there. So we took a private jet to this private island and I was kind of nervous because I don't know, Mexico to me just seems kind of sketchy, but because I I knew it was gonna be like this private place like I kind of felt more comfortable and I knew the guys that we were going with so we get on this plane and as soon as we get into the air it's a party I mean we we're drinking or smoking in the plane it was, there was a debauchery on the plane on the way there in fact at one point the uh, pilot put it on autopilot and came back in the plane with us and started drinking <laughs> and I was like okay that doesn't look right to me but at that point, I was starting to get, like, buzzed, and I just didn't even care. I was like, oh, fuck it. If I die, hell of a way to go out. We are getting ready to land. I'm, like, looking out the window, and I'm like, holy shit. This place is fucking awesome. Like, they said it was going to be cool. I didn't realize how fucking cool this was. They basically have, like, all these helicopters that they can take out to, like, fly to, like, places in Mexico if they want to, like, bar hop. They basically bar hop with their helicopter. They also flew in, like, this team of staff that they hire every time they go out there to, like, cook and clean and, you know, all that stuff, like, get their toys ready. It was really fucking cool. So we get to this mansion, and this place is insane. It's, like, the sickest place I've ever seen. It's, like, so private. There's no one else there. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can walk around naked and you know like I don't know it was just so cool to me I was so excited about this and so I was like yes party time I was getting wasted hanging from fucking chandeliers naked like in the house we were doing crazy shit the poor staff there probably thought we were fucking crazy then the next day I woke up and I had the worst hangover and everyone else did too so we're like well oh, I guess we'll just start drinking so we woke up start drinking and they're like you know, we all get drunk again, and this is like probably, it's probably like noon at this point. One of the guys that we were with, who was part owner of this like property, because there was like a couple guys that owned like all of this, one of the guys was like, let's do the helicopter jump or something. And I was like, well that's, that sounds fun. It, it also sounds dangerous, but it sounds fun. Let me drink some more. <laughs> so, I, so I get shit faced, right? And I'm like, all right, let's do it. I don't know what we're doing, but let's do it. His drunk ass gets in the helicopter. One of these guys is a helicopter pilot. Like, so they have like their license or whatever to fly the plane. The guy that's like getting in to start flying the plane is not a helicopter pilot. And so I was like, what are you doing? I'm not getting in here if you're fucking flying, you know? And he's like, oh, come on, don't be such a puss. And the other guy that was a helicopter pilot was in the helicopter with us. So I felt a little bit more comfortable, but I was still really sketched out. And I'm like, this is fucking crazy. I was shit faced and I was still like, this is fucking crazy. And my friend Carrie was like, I am not doing that, Shannon, you're nuts. She's like, nuh -uh, I'll stay here from the beach and watch you guys. So we're like, okay, so it was just me and the two guys. Basically, what the helicopter jump was is that you get in the helicopter, you fly over the ocean in the helicopter, and then you jump out. Yeah. So my drunk ass is like, okay, so what do we do now? And they're like, get naked. And I was like, what? <laughs> they're like, get naked. And I'm like, okay, so I get naked. The helicopter pilot, the one that was like the pilot, gets naked. And he's like, all right, I'll see you down there. And fucking jumps out of the helicopter into the fucking ocean. 
And I was like, I'm not going down there, my naked drunk ass. I'm telling like the guy that's flying, I'm like, I'm not jumping in there. That's fucking nuts. And he's like, come on, it'll be fun. So I was like, oh, fuck me. And I fucking went and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And the doors open and it's fucking loud. And I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, what if something happened? Jump out. And then for some reason, the helicopter goes down and I get stuck in the fucking thingies. I don't know what the fuck those thingies are called. Or like, what happens if like I die jumping into the water? I mean, we weren't that high up, but it's, but it's higher than you think. You know what I mean? Like you look down and that's a pretty far fucking jump. I was nervous. I was like so nervous, but I was like, fuck it. You only live once. And I fucking jumped. And I, I, <laughs> my fucking little naked ass was probably like, you know how you like flail around, like when you're dropping down. Um, and I fucking hit that water so hard. And I feel like I went down so far into the ocean because it was such a far drop. So I was like, don't die, don't die. <laughs> but I was so fucking drunk that I was like still having fun, you know? And when I got up and I saw the other guy that was down there waiting for me, I was like, that was awesome. <laughs> and he like gave me a huge high five. And I had like serious street cred with those guys after I did that. So that was probably one of the craziest things I've ever done. One, because it was dangerous as hell and I probably could have died. But also like, I don't know, that's just pretty crazy to me being drunk, flying with uh, in a helicopter with somebody that was not like a trained helicopter pilot to do that. But I guess when you have a lot of money, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah, that was one of the craziest things I've ever done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this story. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want more crazy stories like this, thumbs up this video and let me know down in the comments below. So let me know what was the craziest thing that you've ever done. I'm curious to know. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!